Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're going to check out the Pagani Zonja Unique Coupe. We're going to do a stage 5 shift and tune, stage 6 shift and tune, and we'll do a live racing setup if we can find one, a review on the car, and all kinds of good stuff. So if you want to know how to drive this car and tune it and all kinds of good stuff like that, this video is for you. Don't forget to watch the entire thing. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, share with your friends, and let's get to it. When the car is 100% maxed out with all the stage 6 parts and all the fusions, nitrous goes all the way to the right. Final drive 2.57, tire pressure on 26 psi with a 53 and a 47 up top. That gives us a dyno of a 7.4. 7.4 on the dyno. Let's go do a test run and I'll show you how to drive her. We are going to let go of the gas right about number one, shortly after shifting the second, somewhere between two and three thousand RPM shifting the third, nitrous on fourth, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. Very cool, very easy car to drive, so let's go do it. Three, two, one, go, second, third, fourth and nitrous, fifth gear, sixth gear, and that's about how you do this one right there very simple very easy car to drive hopefully i shifted into the second quick enough that actually makes a big difference there we got a 7.270 if you play with the rpms that you launch at and the shift into uh third gear or second gear there you may squeeze a little bit faster times out of it but that gives you a good idea of how to drive it it does have a dyno of a 7.4 so it is beating dyno by a nice amount on stage six when it's maxed out now I'm going to refit all the parts back to stage 5 so we can do a stage 5 tune. So remember with all the uh, fusions and all the 5 parts installed. I don't know. You know what I mean. Let's do it. On stage 5, nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive about 3.74. Tire pressure right around 26 PSI. And a dyno of a 9.739. So it looks like we're going to drive it the exact same way on stage 5 as we did on stage 6. So I'll let go of the gas right about number 1 shortly after shifting the 2nd, shifting the 3rd around 3000 RPMs, and then on 4th gear hit your nitrous. Alright, so let's give that a go. 3, 2, 1, go. 2nd, 3rd, nitrous. Oh, I hit nitrous on the wrong gear. You're supposed to hit it on 4th, I hit it on 3rd. It runs a very similar time either way, so hey, I'm not perfect. Sometimes it's cool to show you guys the mistakes, but you get the idea. That's how you work this car, all right? That time we got a 9.705. The last couple runs were in the 9.6s, and it does have that dyno time of a 9.7. So if you shift it and drive it just right, it is beating dyno on stage 5 and on stage 6. So I'm pretty sure we've got a really awesome live racing setup for you guys today. This car is only requiring two parts to be upgrade, upgraded to get a lower performance point high evo live racing tune we still got 1537 evo 617 on the performance points and we have the tires on stage three the transmission on stage four and all the other parts are fit back to stock so you only have to upgrade those two parts to make this a really good live racer if you put your transmission at 4.15 and tires at 26 psi that's going to put you in the 12.2 lobby where this car should dominate we are up to 1703 evo points this is going to be a live racing beast guys i'm pretty sure i'm going to upgrade this one on my account i'm currently on asho speed the king's account there's a link to his channel in the, this video's description you might want to check that out big shout out to asho speed the king on youtube Thank you, buddy, for letting me use your account. Not always, but usually these low performance point high Evo tunes just dominate live racing. So we're going to try and run about a 12.2. We do not want to run faster than 12.2. So let's try a very standard shift pattern. Three, two, one, go. Second and nitrous. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. And I haven't tried this out yet, but generally on these tunes, you just run the most standard shift pattern you can find, and that usually gets you right around the dyno time. And there we got a 12.154, meaning we're actually going to have to downshift once or twice before we cross the finish line, because if we run faster than 12.2, the game will take the car and move it to a different lobby, and then move it to a different lobby, and then move it to a different lobby. So this was just a free car that we got as a milestone prize car, and I'm going to tell you what, this looks like a top-notch car for live racing, so yeah. 
I kind of like it so far, so let's go do a review on this thing. All right, so as far as the review goes, you just saw it's in the gonna. It's probably gonna be an amazing live racer. You can't 100% quote me on it. I can't really take this account into live racing and test it out, but it should be freaking amazing. So yeah, should be an awesome live racer. It looks like it's capable of running about a 7.1 something if it's 100% maxed out. It should do almost 400 miles per hour. You might be able to tune it to do over 400 miles per hour. 0 to 60 in like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 seconds. 0 to 100 is like 1.2, 1.3. So this is an all around pretty darn cool car. It beats Dino. It's got a live racing setup. It's decently fast. It's not the fastest car in the game or anything, but it's got a lot of good things going for it. So I'm going to say I like this car. If you don't have a good tier 5 car already and you happen to get one of these, you might want to upgrade this one, which is cool because most of the Pagani's in this game kind of suck. So it's actually really nice that we've got a nice looking Pagani for one. So yeah, I'm going to say this is going to be a really awesome car, guys. Uh, I like it so far. So far, I like it as long as it works out in live racing the way I think it's going to. Like I said, I can't test this account out, but I think it's going to be amazing. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the uh, video's description. There's some good links there, some ways to help support the channel, the Danny Lightning merch store, some PayPal links, all kinds of stuff. If you want to help support the channel or check out some game news and information, just drop down in that description and check it out. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends. Do this, do that, do the other thing. I know, I know, I know. Have an awesome day. Thank you guys so much. Lightning out. See ya.